Brown Lister. 1791-1840. Diarist businesswoman, landowner, travelling and famous lesbian who recorded much of her personal life in secret code in diaries which were found inside the walls in Shibden Hall. Hey up, welcome to another episode of Plus Parks and Attractions and today we're at Shibden Hall. Shibden Hall was built in 1420 and um, its most notable resident at Shibden Hall was probably Anne Lister who was born in 1791 until 1840 when she sadly died. Anne Lister, better known as Gentleman Jack from the BBC television series in 2019 and also seen on HBO in America. Now, um, Anne Lister, as you may or may not know, was a well-known diarist as well as a lot of other attributes such as a well-known businesswoman in these areas and uh, she actually lived at Shibden Hall from 1815 to 1840 and previous to that her dad lived here and uh, passed it on when he sadly died but uh, her dad actually was injured in the battle at Lexington part of the American Civil War got injured he came back here to work as a recruitment officer and Lister lived here from 1815 to 1840. Diaries were hidden in the walls at Shibden Hall and amongst all the diaries there were a secret code and they've been now uh, examined and reviewed and we actually found out that she was having a secret love affair with a number of different women in the area and these documents are highly sexualised uh, adventures of Anne Lister were hidden in the walls at Shibden Hall behind me. You can actually see from the the top here at Shibden Hall down towards the parkland and the gardens. There's actually 90 acres of land that you can explore walking through the woods down over Mia down there and you can actually go boating. And Lister put the additions on the black and white wood panelling on the front of the buildings and also got this uh, tower to the left hand side built to give the building a more gothic appearance she actually wanted to change its name from Shibden Hall to Shibden Castle Welcome to Shibden Hall the home of Anne Lister from 1791 to 1840 sometimes known as Gentleman Jack As you see today So this looks like it's the dining room at Shibden Hall. Imagine the amount of meals that have been taking place in this house over the years. Gentleman Jack connection, some of the memorabilia, some of the books written by her. Got Anne Lister's top hat and cane, the drawing room, maybe where she wrote her diaries. Eighteen seventy nine at year. Into Anne Lister's bedroom. Imagine the stories 
in this bedroom could tell. She would like to stay in this garden because of the garden views. The man in the store is that bed could tell. I've looked into the garden the views that Anne enjoyed so much. bedrooms. Or is it just a guest lounge? Yeah. Little old rocking house and children's care. By the fire and an old prop. This looks like one of the master bedrooms. One of the largest bedrooms we've seen. And there's a little crib. Down there. Old creepy floorboard. <laughs> Not quite sure what this room is, but it's a dressing room, a changing room. This is the north chamber. This looks like a drawing room or somewhere you maybe write your letters. Looks like it leads to the another area of the house, but we're not allowed to go into that area. Looks like we've got a tack room where we used to look after the carriages and the horses get them all okay for transportation the state chariot last used by Sir Charles Lauver in, who lived from 1803 to 1894 carriage was built in 1768 so that's the old ambulance and this one is uh, this carriage is what we call a drag it used to be used as a stage coach back in the day but then bought and used privately by the uh, Lister family for days out this is the Lister family's uh, carriage or chase. Built in, it was built in 1725. One of the oldest carriages still in existence. Probably the old fashioned version of a Bentley or Rolls Royce back then. One of the oldest surviving carriages in the world. And you can see on the door the list of coat of arms. Well, it's beginning to rain now, so I think it's about time we wrapped up the vlog for today. But if you like this vlog, please give me a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, or I've got even suggestions or other places we can visit, or places you like to see and do, why don't you hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.